at it again. So two back-to-back -back days of work, so that's pretty cool. The company's growing, and that is uh, definitely something that makes me happy. Anyway, we're heading on the way up to uh, Austell, Georgia today. We've got a company down there that uh, has a gate that needs to be repaired, so um, I quoted them this job a couple weeks ago, and uh, they're just now getting back with me on it. So should be a pretty simple little job. It shouldn't be too crazy at all. We just got to get this gate back on its track so it opens and closes properly. So uh, anyway, yeah, come along with me. Let's go check it out. All right, so here we are on site up in Austell, Georgia, and we're working on this gate today. So I guess what happened is somebody hit the gate and it caused this uh, vertical, vertical post right here to bend over and you can see the little wheels, casters that this gate rides on. So this gate had jumped off that wheel and it was basically just kind of flopping up and down and there was no uh, support for the end down there. So had a loader come over here and they pressed down on the bottom of this gate to push the uh, this end of the gate down to where I could reposition that caster. Just had to loosen these bolts up, swing this caster over, and uh, basically realign the gate on the wheel. But now what they want me to do is create a stop so this thing doesn't run off the end of the gate. So what we're going to do is take a piece of uh, metal and weld the end of this, and we're going to get rid of this piece of angle iron. And we're going to do that for the bottom also. You can see where they tried to do the same thing down here, but it just wasn't, uh, wasn't heavy duty enough. So it ended up bending and uh, ended up running off the wheel there. So we're going to cut this off and we're going to get this removed and uh, get some steel cut so we can weld on a little stopper on the end of that. And uh, that'll be the end of it. Definitely a lot easier than what I was expecting, which is always nice. So let's get to it. So I'm not gonna let y'all see the back of my truck because it's an absolute mess right now, but <laughs> gotta make a run to the scrap yard here soon. But anyway, this is a, uh, a piece of, um, looks like three eighths um, by three inch or three and a half inch uh, flat bar. So I think what we'll do is uh, measure out a couple, of, a couple of squares like this, get these cut out, and this is gonna be our stopper material. So this is what we've come up with. Just uh, some real simple little pieces of steel for some stoppers for those uh, casters on that gate. And uh, I went ahead and I rounded off the edges here. You know, because, yeah, I mean, you never know. Somebody might come on down the road later and have to work on this thing. And, you know, it just it'd be nice not to have to put something up there that might stab somebody. So I went ahead and just rounded everything off just to make it a little bit more safe for you know, people that might be working on this thing in the future. So basically, I'm thinking I'm gonna get up here and basically just stick it on like that. That's gonna be our stopper. So let's get to it. Okay, got everything all buttoned up. 
just ran uh, 6010 rods on this because it was uh, galvanized and it's just a little bit faster to run everything downhill and it's been a while since I've welded anything like that it should be plenty strong enough for what this is so now these wheels aren't gonna run off the end of the gate and that should solve their problem so I appreciate you guys sticking along with me throughout this process and uh, thanks for letting me show you what we do here Was a pretty fun job you know, stuff like that is always nice to uh, it's always nice to do small repairs like that easy stuff every now and then not always fun to do those every day but I definitely enjoy working on gates and you know small things here and there so that was definitely something that was a breath of fresh air from what I've normally been doing I don't do a whole lot of that kind of stuff, so it's definitely nice whenever I do get it. So anyway, as uh, as luck would have it, I'm working on this job, and my phone rings, and I get another call to go down to uh, Lovejoy. So that's about 40 miles from where we're at now. So I'm going to hop on the highway and head down that way. Seems like a uh, truck driver's got some kind of a mud flap uh, that broke off their trailer, and they're uh, afraid that DOT is going to going to get them so they're looking to have somebody come fix that real quick so i'm going to go ahead and terminate this video here and uh yeah i appreciate you guys sticking along with us and if you got the time go check us out on facebook and instagram at the archangel welder and facebook is the archangel welder uh slash facebook so if you got the time please like and share this video and uh, subscribe to the channel it really helps us get out there and uh reach more people helps us with more opportunities anyway hope you all have a blessed day and we will see you